because like I promised, we're actually gonna go to our sewer layer of toys. So, we're going here, check out the store, see what we can find. Never been to the store before, but we have seen them at Toy Man a lot of times. All right guys, so, welcome to the tour of, of sewer layer of toys. And of course you walk in, you got a turtle arcade cabinet there, Slimer. This store was just packed full of goodness. And just the things you see. I walked in, me and April were like overwhelmed with stuff. Lots and lots of old school toy prints. I've actually never seen the turtle, um, the next mutation toys before. But yeah, check this out. Giant Donatello all kinds of stuff and wow power ranger turtles those are brand new just been out had to show this up close from a buddy ed huge power ranger nut but i was just shocked at everything that was in here it was just overwhelming mind-blowing it's one of the reasons i did i'm doing this this way probably a new way of there's my mikey got one right over here next to me um and their, their display cabinets they have in the back. We'll be showing that in a minute. But I, mean, I, I just couldn't get over it. Dragon Ball Z stuff, all kinds of anime. Of course, Pokemon. Huge, huge Star Wars section. So everybody say hi to April. All right, now this is like their collector's area. Look at the Zords up there. All oh, those are sweet. Star Wars, Marvel figures. I mean, the amount of toys that are here. And I love the turtle area. I, I kind of do a quick overview, but I do come back to it in the video. But um, Yeah, some of this stuff you're just looking at like, wow, old school He-Man. There's some street sharks over there. I'll, I'll come back and show this. But then I saw video games. I was like, let me go see what kind of video games. There's your power glove for 150 bucks, I think, so what's on it. But yeah, you know, these guys have a little bit of everything. Video games. They mainly deal with toys, but they have newer toys. They have retro toys. This store was just awesome. And there was even a small area with some comic books. But then this right here blew my mind. Look at all these G1 Transformers. Had G1, they had some Beast Machines, Beast Wars. I I was just, I mean, my mind was blowing. And I didn't think their prices were bad. Um, Funko Pops on the back wall, a wall full of old school plushies. I honestly, I didn't know where to film, whatever, and I, I showed April. April loved strawberry shortcake as a kid, and I, every time we're out, you know, her being a girl from the 80s kids, that's, that was her area, and I turn around right here, and you'll see her in a second. She was smelling one of them. You could still smell, after all these years, they smelled like the fragrances are supposed to be. Jurassic Park. I probably really need to start going a little slower through these areas, but in, these are old school board games. I, old Pat, Cabbage Patch Kid. There was so much there, and we were on a time frame. We we had a, we were going to go to a golf place right after this, so we also had to get to get to where we were heading in Indiana. So I couldn't spend too much time in the store. Old school He Man. There's Castle Grayskull, Snake Mountain. Ah! Like I said, you guys are in Terre Haute, Indiana, or just going through Indiana and you're a toy collector, stop at this store. It is right, I mean literally just minutes off the highway. Less than five minutes off the highway at exit seven in Terre Haute. You guys stop at this store. It was a great, great time. Look at all those old school Ghostbusters. I mean, there's so much stuff. I was like, oh, there's more stuff up here. I didn't even know what these were. Food fighters. The entire, I think, entire, a lot of 10 of them, and they want $1,200 for them. But all in their packages. There's some um, higher grade comics up here. That is the one thing I picked up. I did pick up the Zombie Marvels 5. 
needed it for my collection. Old Mad Balls. I never seen them with the figurines. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down the aisle the guy was working in, get a few shots of this, or no, I think this was a different aisle, but like I said, I was overwhelmed, didn't really know where I was going, what I was gonna see, what I was gonna film. I've learned now that next time I go to this store, I really need to stop and just film this store. Um, showed this footage to Eddie, you know, he's a giant toy collector. He loved this store. And there's another store up in Kokomo, Indiana that we need to go to. So he, he's talking about maybe wanting to go on the road trip. There you go, 8-Bit Glitch, Street Sharks. I know how you love Street Sharks. Or the Biker Mice or March. I'm not sure which one. I just saw the Street, street Sharks, thought of 8-Bit for some reason. Then I'm over here looking at the turtles. Um, snap neck turtles, the complete set of four. Yep, I'm showing them to April. The This store is, is old school, new school. Everybody needs to go check it out. It's awesome. Um, I had to go back and look at the G1 Transformers. I don't know what I'm filming here. But yeah, um, you guys can see see yeah, I forgot that I was filming oh I was looking at Grimlock and Slag and then Ada Ada Wong from Resident Evil April printed that out I think I'm getting ready to cut to this uh, I was looking at Megatron and Beast Mode um, Blaster I didn't even recognize these when I looked down there's some GoBots wow GoBots anybody remember GoBots all right, this is all the stuff that was up front. Nice sculpture of Wolverine. I love the Chucky up there. Huge Godzilla bust. Like I said, it, you guys, any toy collector going through Indi um, Eastern Indiana, you've got to check this store out. This store was just mind blowing. So, everybody, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the new green screen layout. Check you out later.